Hello, and welcome back to Jameson tonight. Well, we do collect eccentrics on this show, but they <laughs> rarely come more peculiar than this bloke, I can tell you. For 17 years now, he's pursued this craze for celebrities to be photographed alongside them, to be exact. Look at this lot here. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it in all my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the man in every single one of those pictures, welcome Tony Appleton. <laughs> Tony. Now, where did this magnificent obsession start? <laughs> it started 17 years ago, ago in Mallorca. With I can see Steve Davis there, look. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Steve, yeah. Where is he? Frank there. Buff. Yeah, Frank Buff. Good oh, no, Lord. All sorts here. He started with... Um, um, he's number... Angela Rippon. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were in Mallorca 17 yeah. years ago, yes. I was yes. in a little bar having a drink, and all yeah. of a sudden, the girl next to me was a very famous film star. I don't know if you're too young to remember that. Do you remember Anita Ekberg? The Swedish sex bomb. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Well, I was talking to Anita, like, sitting this nice young lady here, and somebody snapped a picture. And uh, I took no notice of it, so all of a sudden a young lady walked up. She said, excuse me, I work for a magazine in Sweden. Who, who's the young, la young lady? Do you know? I said, oh. oh, yeah, I think I do, yeah. She said, you know, we get on quite well together. I said, could you leave us alone? <laughs> Two weeks later, in a, a Swedish scandal magazine, I was her jet-set boyfriend. And <laughs> So all of a sudden, I like this. I like this. You've been trying ever since. Yeah, I have. I like it. So ever he since, thought, I was almost on a promise that night, <laughs> seventeen right. years ago. Well, there's another story. But, but <laughs> tell me, let's go through. I suppose the most famous is Mrs. Thatcher, of course. Margaret, yes, that was. Was, a, was she friendly? That was a very difficult one to get. I decided that um, that I was going to get the picture, come what may, and she was at the Brighton conference, you know, well before the the bombing, about five, six years yeah. ago. And um, the, the word got around that I was in town. They, everybody got nervous. I mean, really nervous. And the police yeah. came out and said, no way. I mean, no way. We've got guns. I said, well, I'm going to get a picture. I'm going to get a picture. So, and I knew that it was um, Dennis's birthday that day. Nobody else knew it. I knew it was. Yeah. So I had a little um, carnation ready. So Mrs. Pat, then the special branch realised that I really meant business. Yeah. So they all tied up together. All right, let him have a picture. He's going to come on me. So uh. I went up to Excuse me, Mrs. Thatcher, give her the... And that was it, cracked it, snap, got the picture. And did she respond? She yes, oh yes, thank you very much. No, she didn't At least say, you remembered. She didn't whisper in your ear, get lost. No, <laughs> no, nobody says that. <laughs> what about Rackwell Well, She had trouble with her, didn't she? Yeah, you? she was um, signing a book in, um, in Dickens and Jones, or I suppose remember, Dickens That's and Jones right. in London, and uh, I, I thought, oh, I'm going to have a picture of Rackwell, and was all queuing up in orderly fashion, camera of the ready, but my spy was in the crowd. And then I dived across and jumped in. Ah, get this man yeah. off me, scream. Got the picture, bye. <laughs> Did she give you a word, slap you? Mm, yeah. Just tried, yeah. yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Joan Collins, was she friendly? Joan, now, Joan and I really got on well. Good as gold. Oh. Good well, as gold. I've, well, I'll tell what you about Liz Taylor? Now, Liz, another story, Liz. Um, Liz was uh, in Little Foxes, <laughs> as you know, when she came to London. And um, yeah. I knew she was appearing at the Palladium doing their press interview, and I decided I was going to get a picture. So I smuggled myself into the crowd, and the right time was ready. She was talking like this, and I jumped over and got the picture and promptly slung back. Ah. <laughs> and um, then she was questioned after, what, uh, what, what, you know, what did you think he was going to do? She said, I, I thought he was going to kill the pro producer. <laughs> that was it. You but never got the queen, Tony. No, I don't... Um, I don't, don't go after no, the I don't go royalty. That's I'll tell you a very... Uh, no, I don't... Uh, no, that's how to go. The only person in royalty I'm after... I'm after uh, Juan Carlos. I'm going to get him this month in Spain. Next month in Spain. Oh, Spain. He doesn't know it, but I'll let him off. Oh, I'm yeah. in his face. We don't count Spanish That is a secret, by the way, OK? <laughs> oh, shh. But, Sorry, no one's watching. So with the Queen, um, she was in Chelmsford. I live in Chelmsford in Essex last um, year. And um, I was going home one afternoon and I saw a policeman walk down my drive and I, he said, um, Good evening. I said, I know what you want. No, I'm not. He said, Can I... Come inside, sir. So he came inside, sure. took his head down, got his clipboard. I said, I'm not going to get a picture with the Queen, I promise you. Uh. So, um, OK, sir, you know, uh, went away. So the day came, the Queen was in Chelmsford. And uh, there's no way I'm going to have a picture. So I went into town, I went in a little wine bar, I go in lunchtime sometimes, have a drink. And all of a sudden, I could feel I was being watched. So I went to walk out, and I'm being followed. And I thought, it's funny. So I said, um, you're known as Alpha Man, and you're uh, wanted uh, yeah. by us. If you move, we're going to have you, and we're going to... Good Lord. So I had four policemen and one policewoman, yeah. so, you know... I tell you, Tony, who you will never get. Who's that? An American president. I've got one. Be oh, Ford, 
Yeah, he was ex-president. No, they do not call them ex-president. They're all presidents. Oh, well, and that was good at the goal. I'm not counting four. I mean Reagan. I mean, because they've got 20 secret doesn't service Doesn't matter. Men. I can get anybody. And Sinatra. You'll never get Well, Sinatra. I'm going to get Frank, because he's my last one, and I'm going to retire. When I'll get Frank, I'm going to pack it up. Uh, but uh, can I have a picture of you? you got over, you've got over 200, oh. haven't you? Yeah, can I have a picture of you, Derek? And, yes, he wants a picture of me now. Can you take oh, you've me? really... Yes, that's scraping the bottom oh, of the barrel, Tony. But I might not get a chance you've after really, the show. You've really... You've learned the sights you now. Mind. I mean, you're letting you. <laughs> if you don't get it in the coach, hey, hey. just take one more, Another quick, one? darling. Just in case. Well, yeah. luck. It's a favourite Hey, part. there you if go. If you don't get in, I mean, uh, you know, you go. very quick. Go Ladies very and quick. gentlemen, <laughs> what a rascal, eh? Tony Appleton. <laughs> That's all for now. There isn't any more time. Nigel Cook, floor manager. Have we finished? We finished. Annabelle, do we believe him? Yeah.